everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video this morning. I trust and hope that you're doing really great and we're going to be talking about resistance across the basin. So looking at this graphic, we can see whatever is left of Ophelia making its way out of the US. Just as expected, the cyclone made landfall yesterday morning as a strong tropical storm and has been rapidly weakening since. So uh, the reason for that is because it has been cut off from its source of fuel and energy and uh, as such, it is just rapidly degrading in out there. Next, there is that new tropical wave which has emerged off Africa recently being marked as a disturbance to watch. We could see some development of it as we head through this week and uh, we've also got Tropical Storm Philippe, newly formed Tropical Storm Philippe out there not likely to be a problem for anyone over the course of the next several days. And so let's move on to the satellite imagery and here we can see that uh, we've got our systems. What's left of Ophelia is up there. Uh, there's also Philippe which is quite prominent there's that blob and uh, it is quite reminiscent of Nigel so we've got that next tropical wave as well not seeing anything much associated with it right now just some disorganized showers and thunderstorms and it makes sense that the formation chance is very low so it's not in the most conducive environment to allow for any quick development right now so we could see it try to get itself together as we head to the mid and latter part of this week. Let's head closer to the Caribbean and here we can see lots of showers and thunderstorms taking place across some areas, sections of the eastern Gulf, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, even near the Yucatan, Jamaica, the Bahamas. So there is some activity within this area. And over in parts of the Lesser Antilles, there is some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity there as well, as well as for parts of northern South America. But for some other areas, such as most of Hispaniola, the Turks and Caicos Islands, heading to Puerto Rico and uh, the Virgin Islands, the ABC Islands and down in Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada. It has been rather hot and dry, likely a very sunny morning so far. But as we head to this afternoon, there could be some additional showers and thunderstorms popping up thanks to that daytime heating, uh, which would offset the heat for many of us. So that is what is happening right now across the region, guys. Now let's talk a bit more about our system. So uh, again, whatever is left of Ophelia is making its way away from the US, not a big bother anymore. Uh, the worst of it was yesterday in parts of the eastern states. As it relates to Philippe, let's go on to the cone forecast for this, uh, the tropical storm. And here we can see that it has slightly strengthened uh, since yesterday. Winds of 45 miles per hour. And it is making its way to the west at 9 miles per hour. Now, this is not expected to rapidly intensify into anything. But gradual intensification is likely very slowly. And it is going to be making that curve again because of weakened region or that high pressure system across the North Atlantic. So when that high pressure system is strong out there, it typically steers our storms toward the west. But uh, with all these other low pressure systems coming off of the east coast of the U.S., that weakens the region and uh, the high pressure displaces more to the east. And that allows an opportunity for the storms to make their curve up to the northwest and uh, not to be a problem for the Caribbean, the Bahamas, even Bermuda and the U.S. So uh, the long term of Philippe remains uncertain, but for now it is not a problem for any one. And as we take a look at the model track guidance, we can see here that a couple of these members want to take the system a bit further to the west. Some, uh, Most of them want to show that curve up to the north and then the system making its way out to the northeast. And uh, as it relates to intensity, we can see here that most models do not expect that this will become a hurricane contrary to what was initially forecast. So uh, some models at first were showing this even becoming a major hurricane, but over time they have not been showing that anymore. So they're expecting a much reduced intensity intensity likely due to some hostility ahead of it. And then of course that next tropical wave given that low chance of development so we could see some development of it as we head to the mid and lesser part of this week and it looks as though it wants to take on a track similar to that of Philippe. So of course I'm here to keep you guys posted on the latest. That is pretty much it for this update. I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments. I'll respond once I get the chance to do so and as always Remember to be otherwise.